Hey guys, Unfair Advantage Films Cover Fire here, and I'm bringing you guys some Empire Total War. Um, a different game that I have called War Game Red Dragon. Admittedly, I just tried to make you guys a video and and just just died. <laughs> so so I, I'm I'm gonna try doing this instead. Um, <laughs> to preclude right some of my other video, essentially what ended up happening is is, is we've not released. Uh, so Unfair Adventure Films has not released a video for, for quite some time. Um, for 2015, we do have a lot planned. It's going to be a great year. It's going to be a lot of fun. And ownership's changed, so it is still myself, but I now have a co-owner with Unfair Advantage Films. Um, so if you guys have been seeing any some sort of strange um, uploads that, that are about uh, sort of deals with the devil and, 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 and different audio techniques and things, um, that's because the new co-owner uh, will... We'll call her Hazelnut for here because that's her online name. Has has been uploading things for her college, uh, so those are just her assignments essentially. Regardless, we're here for some Empire Total War tonight, so it it it, it is admittedly about four in the morning. So <laughs> expect a little, a little bit more um, brain lag with myself. So let's go into some multiplayer and let's see what we can do. Uh, I'll I'll just try joining a one versus one. Let's try looking for something here. Uh, they're all full at the moment. Oh dear. Yeah. One second. Let's see if we've got anybody online. Not yet. All right, supposed to battle. Let's do it on. You know, I quite like Ceylon. Ceylon's a lot of fun. Should do one versus one. Oh, that looks good. Perfect. And who should we play as? Uh, okay. Let's play the Austrians. Let's lay out the rules here. and play it for the guy. So just make it so the general has to be in a bodyguard and just don't... Like, some people will, will take advantage of this and they'll use a whole bunch of light infantry and it, it's just silly because you, you can't do a whole bunch of it against it. So, um, the whole premise for this deck is it's, it's called Volleys and Bayonets. So, essentially what it is is it's a multi-layered approach to how I'm going to be fighting. Um, the Austrians get more guys per regiment which is why they're quite good but their morale is shit. So, the way that you end up deploying it is, um, you'll deploy in, I think it's three main lines. This is the way I, I've sort of prototyped this against friends. But you deploy in three main lines and you get so close to the, like your first line will die while you're advancing, but you get so close to the enemy that your volleys will be devastatingly effective. So you, you charge the militia forward and you make them waste their volleys on them. And then you get so close that you're, you're the sheer number of troops that you have will end up doing a, a tremendous amount of damage, and then once you've weakened them, you charge forward with your infantry. Because the problem is, online, is that most people will drop in one big line, and they'll deploy in one big long line of, of, of single infantry. That simply, for the most part, wasn't how uh, warfare was fought at this time. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm in university right now doing, doing a history major, and it's just, this wasn't how it was fought. You fought with a reserve. But the problem is, is that people online fail to capitalize on this, so it ends up making sense. If you play it this way, then you can really make them pay for it. It comes with a small, um, there's not much artillery, and I, I've just I've just got one horse gun that I deploy with my cavalry. But the idea is, is essentially, you want to get to deploy with them, and then once you're firing, eventually you can get into melee combat, and you can just beat them with your sheer force of numbers. The, the problem is, if you try to stand around and, 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 and fight from a ranged sort of perspective, you will die. You, the, the whole force is just going to wither simply because the, even though there's more of them, the morale just won't stand for it. But it's also got a significant grenadier contingent that we can charge in and do all sorts of nasty things with by the time all the militia in line, infantry's and all the dying. So hopefully this guy should be done soon. There are some inter some interesting uh, units that the Austrians have. They've, they've got Windebush Jaegers, which actually use um they actually use air guns. Though they'll use like a pellet gun, and this was used actually. I, I went for a recent trip to London. 
and I ended up seeing one of these in real life, and they're, they're just, they're, they're really strange, they look like, there's no wood on them or anything, it sort of looks like an MP40, like a German, it, 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 it that sort of just weird steel, it's very strange, but it, it's quite cool. Um, regardless, I, I'm, I'm rambling, although this is YouTube, that is sort of the idea. Um, I'm going to bring back whenever we've got the battle going, and I'll let you guys know how it goes. And so it begins. So we're fighting on Ceylon, which is mostly a flat map. Um, there are there are some places like we've we've got a big hill on the left side if I remember correctly, and it's it's a little bit of broken ground in front of us. The thing I'm worried about is that this guy is going to spam artillery because he's gone France, which has excellent artillery. See, some people like to spam artillery, and it, it's it's usually not worth it. Um, it's it's great for taking for making your enemy take the initiative and make them attack you when you don't want to. But I've brought essentially an attacking deck. Right, so let's arrange this properly. I do not remember entirely how I arranged this before, but I think I think it was like this, if I remember correctly. Let's see. Remember right it was like that. and my six pound horse artillery outstanding. Um, the six pound horse artillery has a profound ability of being able to run at the same speed of your cavalry, which is which is wonderful. Um, because you can run it to a really convenient spot on the map and then fire down into your enemy. Okay, so if I was him, how would I be playing this? I would advance on the right side and make me pay for it there. So I'll try countering this. So usually the front line will die, but you end up getting so close that they, it's just by pure, almost by pure, pure willpower, you end up winning. Um, so what we'll do is we'll fuck. See, this isn't this isn't that great of ground to attack on. We could attack over this ground, but then I would give him the center. Let's see. Yeah, he's gonna station probably cavalry up on the side over here, so I can give him the right and lose essentially nothing. But if I give him the left, I'll take damage. So that I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna move up this side. Let's see, I'm sorry if he occupies that ridge. Okay, you know, I'm. I think I'll be better fighting him in the open. If he if he garrisons in the ridge, I'll attack him on the ridge. He's gonna make me attack him anyway. So better doing this and going straight at him than having to maneuver around and he faces until we fire. Okay. Good. So I think we're ready. And we'll group this as group two. And where can I hit him with some artillery fire? I think just over here this might not be a bad spot. Okay. Cool. So let's go. Now what's he done? Brought a fuck ton of artillery. Surprise! It's a horse artillery. Guard to course, a lot, a lot of heavy cavalry. Okay. So, what we'll do is we'll deploy up here and we'll fire down into his infantry body. We'll advance and see what he does. He can charge me with all the heavy cav that he wants. It's not going to make all that much of a difference. It's these guys I'm a little bit afraid of. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll deploy down this way. He's, on the right. He's brought all guards. Four units of horse artillery. Huh. This is a really strange setup. This is not what I was expecting at all. Okay. If we... Do, he's probably brought a bunch of light infantry. Okay, fuck. Okay. If we advance right up the center, we're gonna die to grape shot. Let's stay here for a second. If we don't, we'll face withering fire. So, if we charge his cannons, that's what we want to do. 
we're gonna charge with cannons. Yeah, we'll sacrifice the militia in the second line. Oh, fuck. Alright, let's get this. Shit. And then what we'll do is we'll make problems for him with my, with my artillery, or with my uh, cavalry. We'll have to engage in a position that we desperately do not want to. So we'll tie him up. should do terrible things to these guys in close contact. I'm turning a square too. Fucking off the grenades. 
to shatter their guards by the sheer willpower of our grenadiers. So we're gonna move our guys left. We're not we're not in that bad of a position. I need oh fuck I can't lose this here. Yeah they're afraid they're running. Okay. If we focus our forces we should be able to beat them. My artillery is firing into their uh, into their horses right now like this isn't bad at all. Okay, let's move this way to boy. We're not going to lose this if we use the Grenadiers correctly. So he's going to try to kill me immediately. If I get enough grenades, I'll make a difference. Oh my god, look at- Oh, Jesus! The casualties are fantastic! Oh my god! Alright, let's get the general out of here. This isn't- Oh my god, we're shooting to the death, we're in square? This is working! Holy shit! Okay! <laughs> Put more grenades into them, awesome! Oh my god, we routed his heavy cavalry. The line died, but that's not really the point. Oh shit. See, I'm just gonna the cage. I'm gonna keep backing up, keep throwing grenades at him, keep firing on him. He's lost. <laughs> I don't think he's, he's gonna win this. Throw the grenades, run away. And they the rat. Oh my god. Look at this. Absolutely brilliant. As soon as he contacts us, I don't know how long he's gonna last. Look and then run. Now we can fight them now that there's only 50 of them left. Oh, they don't want to fight. Oh my god. That sh that should not have happened. This is this is the strength is that you bring so many people and, and half of them are are so good that you just need a few good units of grenadiers and that's it. this almost handily we have won this right that was great we they killed way more of us but as you can see we deployed almost twice as many guys as he did the most kills you would think went to my grenadiers oh jesus <laughs> yeah 302 kills for grenadiers right um so that was that was number one of empire uh good game to my opponent uh menko oh jesus just butcher this one
Manco Gennaro. Manco Gennaro. Good game, man. Uh, right, Unfair Advantage Films. We'll see you guys later. Some more games.